everybody. We're back again. This is a Bubsy 3D. Uh, this is a, a wonderful game. This is this is this is a video game uh, popularized by John Tron, I think mostly. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, what happens when you try to take a uh, a beloved 2D mascot platforming hero and convert him into a 3D game. Uh, because Bubsy's like a household name, right? This is a 3D platformer with tank controls. Whoever thought that was a good idea? Well, I I am, bet they're not in game. You cannot right? use and you cannot use and you cannot use the analog stick, so it is just using the D-pad to move forward and this game is nightmare fuel. Uh, yeah, like they were trying to make this like charming and cute and it succeeds in neither of those. And the whole point is that these aliens who were the who were the enemies in the first Bubsy are now back. And they want revenge against the terrifying Bobcat. Bubsy the Bobcat. Bubsy is, is 3D. Bubsy is 3D in Forbidden Planet. Now, now the Bubsy is 3D over Bubsy 3D. The choice is there. The, the is, the nuance that brings is very important. But, okay, so I'm going to play this for 30 minutes and try to get as far as I can. I am not making any promises. Oh, don't load the video, Bubsy. Oh, I hate that you know, face. What we should be playing is Bubsy goes to the art museum. I whatever it's hate called. that face so much. I hate it. The one where Bubsy goes to Applebee's. It's a good game. Catatomic Catastrophe. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's that's just the demo with the <laughs> longest load times ever. Uh, this game has such like the back of the, the back of the case favorably compares this game to Mario 64. Yes, it does. It says that the underwater levels are reminiscent of Mario 64. I don't. I mean, not a lot. I mean, no one likes the underwater levels in Mario 64. First, I do. At first. I like them. They're fine. So, like... Because, like, people just don't like water levels in general. But claws for alarm. Beautiful. Bubsy is the king of... Okay, let's go. Let's Bubsy. Yes! Beautiful. So the point of the game is to collect these little atom things. Uh... And Bubsy is constantly talking, so constantly talking. so he will not shut up. So hopefully you don't actually have to hear that. Um, I feel that I may be making this look a little too easy, but trust me, it is not. <laughs> this says, is incredibly hard to control, and I hate it. And it is one of the most awkwardly playing games I have ever touched in my life. But I'm glad I own it, though, because it is a, a piece of gaming history that should not be locked away. Should be celebrated every year for, this is how you not make a platformer. Also see Croc. <laughs> Legend of the Gobos. Well, is, Croc is... has a, some horror bad control. Croc is interesting because it was, um, the people who made that game claimed that they had actually pitched a Yoshi platformer to um, uh, <laughs> Nintendo and were, and were turned down, but they claim that Nintendo stole their, uh, their like, um, a 3D platforming technology mm -hmm. to make Mario 64. Mm -hmm. And then they use that, and then they use that, they use that same technology in Croc. Well, which obviously is a better Wild game, Croc right? In Mario 64 9. I mean, you have to jump on these enemies, but you get hit in the head, and then Bubsy is all like, uh, I'm. Oh, he talks so much, though, but. Uh, he never shuts up. But yeah, basically the point is that I want. Oh, this is so painful. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is like. Uh, oh, that's so come in handy. You have to like, like, see like, in Resident Evil games, it works sort of because like you know you you don't have to move that 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 fast in those games. This is a precision platformer, in which it's just uh, no I, a nightmare to run. No me gusta is really the best way I can put this. Okay, I unlock the platform. All right. Uh, <laughs> I have to, okay, so my, so, so the platform has now moving, 
So now I have to wait for it to come back. So I so I so I, so I, so I, so I don't fall into the goo. You know, I think Dance party! I think that lots of game designers nowadays can work a lot. There's two on every level, you know. And that is level one. Like how exactly to do things. And you get these and you and as they're calculating your score. Also, this game also uses passwords if you don't, because this game was nice enough actually that uh, if you do not have a memory card, you can use a password. It's like the only thing they did right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I believe I've gotten to like level five in this so far, and then at that point, like what the game requests of you becomes um, so hard that it is nigh impossible to actually, like... Are there, like, 20 levels in this thing? I think there's more. Uh. And the and also the point of that is that you're wanting to collect rocket parts. So this is actually sort of... This is claustrophobic. Um, or claustrophobic. Uh, but the point is that this is, this is basically... What if Pikmin was bad? <laughs> is sort of the point of this here, is that you're wanting to get... That was that was the that was what they pitched when they made yeah. this game. They were like, "What if? What if this what game? What if this game that hasn't even come out yet? What if we redo that game and make it bad?" Uh, I don't know. <laughs> like, they must have looked at this and been like, hey, "Like, I actually got sort of good at this for a while, and then at and but at that point, it just became too much for me to even." Like, want to even like first come, first served. Consider trying. <laughs> the controls really need to be played enabled. Yeah, like I mean, it, 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 it's one of those. I games. mean, like watching it, you're sort of maybe just thinking, like you know, like wow, he's just, he's just, he's just bad at video games. Whilst I won't, whilst I will not refute that. Uh, <laughs> It goes a little deeper in this game. To preserve a little bit of my own dignity, the controls and the bouncer aren't the best either. But the bouncer is like a smooth, wonderful experience compared to this. Kind of like a bow movement. This thing. Bubsy is a. Uh, I mean, like, because the. Because like you know, like, even, even though Bubsy on the SNES isn't like a it isn't like it isn't, it isn't like a terrible game, but like you know, it's 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 bad, but it's not like you know like offensive. This this really gets to me in a lot of ways that just takes me to a dark place. Oh, what, I mean, what? I mention them when they're right in front of your face. What textures? What color? Well, I mean, the color's there, but I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, what texture? there is some texture here on these rocks, but these are just, like, these, these are just, like, I mean, except, except for Bubsy, everything else is just a, is just, is just a, a bunch of polygons. Yeah. With. Look at that. With, uh, just with. look at that. With some color thrown onto it. And the color palette is just what actually you're not what what you're not really hearing that much is the is the music, which sounds <laughs> music. which sounds like a cacophony of farts. I did I did take a hit. Yeah. So jumping is actually faster than walking. Yeah, that's actually a thing that I found. So is is actually a strat that I found to actually make the navigation faster in this game. Is if you just jump everywhere, you actually have a bit more control over your movement, and you move faster. It's really funny because, like, the way this texture is made out, you would think that it's like slippery or like ice or something, but no. No, no. No, it's just, it's just, it's just the same 
same regular old ground. Now it's just a matter of trying to find the level exit. This is like the stuff of nightmares. Like, like literally, this is in your nightmare. This is the layout of your of your of your bad dreams. This is yeah, like, it's like like you'll dream in horrible garish colors. It's like you have some kind of direction over where you should be going, but like, but like nothing super concrete. Kind of like life. Yes, Bubsy 3D is basically just a giant metaphor for life. Well, I mean, I guess. I, I guess my life. <laughs> That's appropriate. But if but if your life is like but if your life is is similar to Bubsy 3D, maybe you should uh, rethink everything that has led up to to this moment. I, I'm I am personally already too far gone, but there is still hope for you. There's still not not hope for that thing. Hi what there, the, buddy. What the hell is that? Hi. Can you pass it? Yeah. Go. Oh, I died. Oh, Jesus. Ah, it's funny! You know, the animations, the death animations are actually pretty good. It's funny. It looks like they actually spent some time on that. Maybe because they just wanted to get rid of the little critter as fast as possible. Oh, no, no, no. I... <laughs> the developers love Bubsy. <laughs> they are obsessed with him, and they think that... They think that he is perfect. They think that he is the furry Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I oh, mean. That could be. Can yeah. you even pass it? Like, are you even able, supposed to do that, or is it just gonna get you as soon? No, as you I know that you can jump past it as long as you can like. Can time it. Yeah, time it correctly. It's just that his movement is somewhat random. We doing it, Bubsy. You're running. I do like how they do have these arrows to tell you where to go, but like, actually, these arrows are just leading straight to your death. So I don't know if I trust those arrows or not. <laughs> I could watch that all day. This is life. It kind of is. Sometimes they'll just run into things and they'll trip you up. But a giant shield will race around your body, but yeah. I can sort of hear the music. I know. <laughs> and it's cracking me up. It's, it's like... It's so funny. The music in this game is, is actually very funny. It's like a, it's it's like a Sunday morning cartoon from the 80s, but like a nightmare version of it. Okay. Uh, this thing looks so creepy. <laughs> yeah. And then it just comes back, and it's like. Grr. You know that it's bad when people applaud you for getting past an obstacle in level two. Oh. I thought that was actually. Yeah, I was, I mean, I thought, I actually thought that that was... What you have to do? Yeah, that that was, you like... You to pick that thing up. If it'll let you pick it up. No, I mean, I thought that that was, like, the, uh... Just jump up. Yeah, no. You act, yeah, you actually can float. Like, <laughs> maybe, maybe you can float under that, over that propeller, and it'll like. Oh god. Game. Game over. Yes, of course. Hey, the Bubsy train is not over yet. Man, we got. I think, I think Bouncer. The Bubsy train never ends. I think we can find the bouncer and Bubsy and call it the Bubsy. <laughs> okay, Bubsy. What are you doing to me here, buddy? Don't say that you froze on me. No! <laughs> no! Bubsy! The loading screen. Bubsy! 
my Come love. Come back to me, Bubsy. Bubsy, my love. What, Come back. What are you doing to me here, Bubsy? Come back. Oh no, oh. Bubsy. Oh. <sighs> I have to reset. <laughs> That's just, that's just even more proof this is an awesome I, I, Yeah, I mean, it knows how to turn itself off. <laughs> like, you should really take a break now. <laughs> <laughs> we know what you're doing. We don't know why you're doing it. But <laughs> <laughs> it's courteous enough to turn itself off. I think this game just wants to be put out of its misery. And Bubsy's so good. But people keep what resurrecting it. People keep people like us keep playing it in public. Well, because the Bubsy, game is just like, please just let me die. Bubsy <laughs> deserves to be loved. I, guess I love that claws horror alarm. Oh, it's so good. One stop shopping. Yeah, I know. Let's just turn it up so everyone can hear the voice and the wonderful music. This music is on my, I don't know if it's on your guys' music player, but it's definitely Everything of, that you remember about that grain, and they just hit on it. I honestly don't know what a speedrun of this game even entail. Because it's just so unpleasant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. no. Worms his way right into your heart. Oh, no worries. Like a like. Next game is going to make me happy life. again. Next next game is going to fill me with nothing but unbridled joy. Because it is my favorite bad game of all time. Is it, what is it going to? Well, if it wins, which I mean, it probably should, it probably should because I can give it five dollars and nobody else will win to the other ones yet. Because Never Dead was in lead first. And I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like why? Legit fun game, okay? 
is infuriating. It's bad, but it's fun. How do you even get hit? Do these, those things even attack? These guys actually like, yeah, like, they actually like shoot out little things. The only issue with jumping is that the um, screen, or the, the camera turns up. <laughs> to let you, um see where you're gonna land, which is, you know, thank you and all, but I also would like to see where I'm going forward in, in 3D space. This is supposed to be water. I'm sure of it. <laughs> why, don't, why don't we get full orcs when we play this soundtrack? Because it probably would like <laughs> usher in the Herald of the Old Ones or something. Bubsy 3D reorchestrated. Sorry. Bubsy 3D, 3D live and in concert. Bubsy 3D. Oh, nice. Yes. Well, this is the ice and just be like breaking the ground. Yeah, it just be blue platforms. <laughs> Visibly getting a, a kill from playing this game. It's hilarious. Uh, Bubsy is a uh, special game. Hotman, Klato, Barada, Nikto. Did he just curse us? He just referenced the Evil Dead. For some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know why, because all he did was just crush a UFO. I mean, they're trying to tell us something if he's referencing the Necronomicon. Like, come on. darker in shape than that. this one is how we is how we're going to resurrect. I think I need to like trigger a switch. Well, no, I need I need to trigger a switch that will lower a platform there. Yeah. That I can then go up. It's just that I don't know where that switch is because these levels are too big <laughs> and there is like no like real direction in them. It's open world. Yeah. It's the predecessor of the open world game.
Yep, always was good. That's a new death sequence. And then he tore off the exclamation point on his shirt? <laughs> and left it behind? We don't need this. We don't need, we, we don't need this. <laughs> what, why on, what? We just didn't like it. It's, an exclamation mark is an offensive gesture in our planet. Emma, one, boom, cha cha cha! One day, I will beat this game. But today is not that day. Today is not that day. I, I don't know. <laughs> this level is so big, and there's like no, and there's like no like clear, like there's just like no clear like direction. Oh. Okay. Yeah, look, look at that speed strat, skipping a level <laughs> thing. Yep. Just like in Mario 64. It, maybe maybe, maybe those guys were right. This might actually be Mario 64. Oh, oh, looks like you could. Man, I've already been here before. I think I already got the rocket part here. Yeah. I know what to do. I know what to do. Okay. Yeah, just kill yourself, right? No. Self mutilations are not. I mean, I, I said that earlier. I was like, why don't you just. Yeah, I forgot about that. Bubsy can fly. Or. Why, I guess. Because he's a bobcat? That makes sense. Ah, we meet again, my old friend. to the Lexington Public Library. <laughs> we will all donate all of our money. All donations go to Bubsy. I will donate my copy of Bubsy 3D to the library. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they accept that. Uh, we only take art. Oh. <laughs> um, well, oh. then you might as well pick this game up because it's, it's a masterpiece. Yeah, masterpiece. Um, masterpiece theater. The music has not improved. I will give them the levels do look a bit different from the other. This one was not identical. Can, can, we, can we put that in the closet? No. Oh, that water is beautiful. You, you always say you really like water in games, right? How does that water make you feel? Um, makes me want to go to a rapids ride and die. <laughs> okay. Hopefully on the rocks. Just get crushed on them. In other words, it just makes it physically uncomfortable. Oh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> 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 
That was a great noise. That's the best sound effect in the game. <laughs> the sound of my death. See, they made all the death stuff really well. One artist on the team that actually tried. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Back in time to party! 